I think it's an amazing organisation and I think we're one of New Zealand's best kept secrets. At the moment we've got about 15,000 youth members and about 3,000 leaders and a lot of our groups have waiting lists and so it really is the biggest barrier to our growth, the lack of leaders at the moment so we really want as many to come on as possible so that more youth can experience what we have to offer. There's absolutely no barrier to joining because we provide all the training and skills that you need uh, to work with the young people. Our leaders range from 18 right through to people in their 70s or 80s. They're a mix of parents who've had kids and scouts themselves, but we also have a lot of leaders who have never had children in the organisation. I decided to become a leader to give back to the, um, to the kids because I'd had amazing leadership as a scout myself. It was a really good experience for me as a person as well, and at that age to get that experience for my job and my career has been really helpful too. My role as a leader is, a, is the cub age group, and that's the second age group up from CARES before scouts. It's quite unique, you're working with eight to 10 year olds, and they've got, they're full of energy and they're really full on, it's quite a fulfilling role. Uh, currently I'm the venture leader and have been for the last um, 17 years and that's uh, 14 to 19 year olds and I really enjoy that age group, it's quite active, quite adventurous, we do some fun activities, caving, abseiling, kayaking, bush crashing and it's really fun, they enjoy it and at the end of the day their smile makes me keep coming back. We opened up the uh, local scout group in Walkworth because it had been closed down for about five years. I just said, do you want my support? And he said, yep, I'd love that. So we're both leaders for Walkworth Scouts now. I joined Scouts about two years ago when my girls started uh, their Cubs. Yeah, it's been uh, really great. Being a leader as well, it's um, taught me a lot with looking after my own kids as well when you do all the training courses that Scouts offer. I would recommend being a leader because it's not very often that you get to help with someone else's learning and fulfilling you know, a child's learning, improving them in the outdoors, which in all honesty isn't really done much these days. It's all indoors. It's quite good getting them outside and expanding their knowledge. Being able to offer a few hours a week into a program to be able to give some of these kids that stability or that father figure or mother figure because they come from a broken family or have parents who are deceased. It, it is very rewarding. Being in the Sea Scouts, we tend to have a lot of on the water rivalry between all the different Sea Scout groups, getting together at all the regattas, going for a bit of friendly um, competition. So when they get together at camps like this, they get a real buzz out of supporting the youth but they also get a buzz out of connecting with each other. So this morning, you know, I've been abseiling. You get to be a kid again yourself. As a leader, you get to actually do and partake in all these fantastic opportunities. And I think leaders give, but also get back from that experience. Leaders don't need to come with a whole range of, of pre-existing skill set. We just need people who, who are really good role models and, and happy and enjoy mentoring young people. Anybody can become a leader. Basically, you've just got to have a, a love for kids and a love for the outdoors. The more you put in, the more you get out. And the kids just, they suck it up. They're like sponges. You'll find as you go along that while you might have started off thinking that you don't have many skills, as we draw in a, a huge range of parents from a range of backgrounds, they'll all bring something slightly different. It's interesting to see where the leaders come from and like how their different backgrounds add to their knowledge base and what they can teach you. So um, you get ex-Navy leaders or you get people like Andrew who went through it themselves way back when. <laughs> yeah, just having someone to organise everything. What a new Scout leader would find is that the already dedicated leaders are really welcoming and supportive. I've just joined the organisation really recently. I've never had the opportunity to be a Scout or a Girl Guide when I was young, but the organisation's been incredibly welcoming to me because it's a movement that's really clear. It wants to, to make this contribution to as many kids in New Zealand as possible. Everything you learn basically just helps you with the kids. What I've learned is that dealing with kids, they're all separate entities. You've got to deal with each one separately and some have more needs than others, but hey, they're kids and they're, they're great fun.